We're always making the materialistic case. In the case of education reform, what are we talking about? Test scores, spending per kid. Is that compelling? Well, think about it. Say, you're a single mom. You work hard. You're very concerned about the quality of your public school. Go to that single mom in a marginalized, economically vulnerable neighborhood and say, let me tell you the problem that we have with education in America. You know the problem? We have lower test scores than the Swedes. What? <laughs> oh, and you know what another big problem that we have is? The Swedes spend less per kid than we spend on your child. That's not compelling. Why? That's not helpful at all. She's not going to listen to you. People are not going to listen to us. It's not about money and test scores. It's about her child. That's a deeply moral thing, and we have to address it as such. So talk about what? Talk about life opportunities and a good education that come from a good education, and don't be embarrassed to talk about that first. Don't talk about test scores. <laughs> That's not part of your moral mission statement. Talk about earned success that comes from getting an adequate education in a society based on equal opportunity. Don't talk about how expensive it is to teach kids. Talk about the moral right of parents to make choices for their own kids. If we do that, then people will know that our hearts are right, not just our brains, and then they'll be willing to listen. That's point one, make the moral case.